Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial 16. It's titled The Hit Game. It's a follow up from Flash CS5 tutorial 15 Two Objects Hit. I'm going to open the tutorial 15 FLA file and just show you what we have on that test it we have a square that is controlled by the mouse and if it hits the red ball we get a trace statement we're going to turn this into a little game go back to the timeline make the stage about 50 percent so we can see it all we'll unlock the ball layer select frame one grab your selection tool and click on it double click on it and it takes us inside of this ball movie clip let's go up to frame 30 insert a keyframe go up to 60 65 somewhere there insert a keyframe up to 100 or something insert a keyframe and we'll go one more I'm going to go to 130 insert keyframe all you want to do is remember your last frame number so we can do something later on in my case it's 131 is my last is 130 so the next frame would be 131 click on this keyframe and move this ball somewhere come into this area here anywhere right click classic tween click on this next keyframe move your ball somewhere mine was here now it's going to drop down to there make it a classic tween go into your next keyframe here I'm gonna move my ball up here make it a classic tween and my last one I'm just gonna click on it and it puts the ball back where it was and make that a classic tween hit my enter I'm gonna hit it again and we'll watch the pattern that the ball is gonna take okay lock this layer insert a layer call it action script as insert a keyframe on this new frame here this after your after your last frame here in my case it's 131 insert a blank keyframe click on it open your actions panel and put a stop in s t o p open close bracket semicolon 131. Go back to scene one. I'm just going to move this up. Open up your actions, select the actions layer, open the actions panel, scroll down, and where where we have this trace, I'm going to remove that and type in a new A new line it's going to say ball one underscore MC there is a period after the underscore MC go to and stop and 131 was that blank keyframe at the end of our ball one movie clip so let's give this a, a try so now when I hit the ball it's going to be moving around and when I hit it it's going to disappear and where it went to was that blank keyframe 131 go back to scene one timeline lock the ball layer select the ball layer insert a layer call it ball 2 B A L L 2 okay just gonna lift this up pick up your oval tool and I have the black stroke and green this time for my fill and I'm gonna put a ball up in this corner make it smaller going to pick up my selection tool make sure it's highlighted modify it convert it to a symbol it's gonna be a movie clip B A L L 2 underscore M C ball 2 underscore M C open my properties panel and give it an instance name 
BALL2 underscore MC. Without the instance name, we can't write script on it. So let's open the actions panel and write that script. Select the actions layer, open the panel, and we're going to take these top four lines one, two, three, four. These four lines. There's one curly bracket here that's not being used right now or that we're not selecting. Right click, copy it. Click between those two curly black brackets, put a couple enters, put in a paste, and this would be if ball two movie clip hits the square ball movie clip two, which we gotta make. And let's make this one here go up as high as 100. So we'll make this 101. So when we make this movie clip, we're going to go up to 100 with a 101 on the blank. Go back to the timeline. Double click on this green movie clip. And now we're inside of it. We said we were going to go to 100. So let's do that first. At the 100 mark, insert a keyframe. And let's give this a couple motions. Let's go back to about 35 ish. Insert a keyframe. And let's move it down here. Select anywhere in this line and insert a classic tween. Let's go up around 65. Insert a keyframe. And let's move it up here ish. Insert a classic keyframe. I said insert a classic keyframe. I meant a classic tween. And we already know from the previous, it's going to end up back at the beginning. So in here, put a classic. And let's enter. And let's enter again and watch it. There's the pattern it's going to take. Okay. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. Call it action script AS. Insert a blank keyframe at the end. In this case, it's 101. We already told it to come, come here. Insert a blank keyframe. Open the action panel. And write stop. Open and close bracket. Semicolon. Let's give this a try. Test movie. Test. We hit this one, it disappears. And this one, it disappears. I'm going to make one more of these with you. Let's go back to scene one. And above this, lock all the layers. Select the balls two layer. Insert another layer. Call it ball three. Ball three. Select frame one. Raise this up. Let's make this one here a pinkish color. We have our oval tool. And let's put this right in the middle here. There it is. It's already selected. Modify, convert to symbol, movie clip, B A L L 3 underscore M C. Enter. Make sure it has an instance name. B A L L 3 underscore M C. Pick up selection tool. Select frame one of the balls three. Double click on it. Let's go up to frame 85 this time. Insert a keyframe. That's on 85. Remember that. And let's make this one frame 15. Insert a keyframe. And let's move it there. Classic tween. Let's go up to frame 40. Insert a keyframe. Let's move it here. Right click classic tween. Let's go to frame 61-ish. Insert a keyframe. Move it way over here. Insert a classic tween. And here, insert a classic tween. Lock this layer. Insert a layer. AS, action script. Select frame 86. Right click. Insert a blank keyframe. It's frame 86. Open the Actions panel, S-T-O-P, open, close bracket, semicolon. And I believe that will give us three. Let's test the movie. Oh, 
we didn't do the back to scene one it's this one we got to remember 86 back to scene one click on the actions layer open the actions panel and copy these last four these four lines again leaving that curly bracket there right click copy in between them click a couple spaces paste and this was if ball three hits the square ball three movie clip and I think it was 86 we want to go to if not sure go back and look but I'm pretty sure let's test this out test the movie if I hit that one it disappears that one disappears and that one disappears now you can put as many as these on the stage as you want I'm going to close for now um, I'm going to make another tutorial the follow-up to this one it will be tutorial 17 and it will be keeping score I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned